down their respective coaches. This one then will be underway. And John Madden, despite the light drizzle in the mid-50s, wearing a short sleeve shirt down there in the field today. Scotty, we talk about what does a home stadium mean. The Raiders have been in this Coliseum nine years. They won 55, lost 11, and tied three. Miami, since Shula brought excellence to the Orange Bowl, has won 37, lost two, and tied none in the Orange Bowl. No question about it. Two factors that are very important in that, Bill. Number one is when you have to go on a road, as you well know, it's a disrupting thing. You have to fly, particularly when you're going across country. It's very wearying, and then there's the jet lag. Number two, unquestionably, fan reaction plays a tremendous part in a game as emotional as football. And I think those are the two key reasons why with good football teams, the home advantage is important. Nat Moore and Hubert Ginn wait near the north goal line to our left. George Jakovenko, the Raiders, will kick off from the 35-yard line on our right, moving from our right to our left. We're set to go. And to move on the ball, here's a side-winding kick, high end over end, not real deep, drifting up, Moore takes it on the 11. The rookie up to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, 30, clears out to the left, the 35, 40, gets a great block, the 50, up the left side, being chased by Jokovinko, the 30, the 20, the 15, the 10, touchdown Miami! Holy Toledo, what an opener! Not more for the kickoff return, and Miami leads six to nothing. As he broke through at around the 30 to 35 yard line, he wheeled out to the left and found the lane, and Jakovenko could not catch it. Now here's Gero Yapremian trying for the conversion. It's snapped and spotted. It's kicked up. It is good. And so the Miami Dolphins lead the Raiders 7 to nothing with only 15 seconds of this football game having elapsed. The Raiders have not had a run back like that against them all year on a kickoff. Warren Bankston almost had him as he broke through that one pack. And then there was an excellent block farther upfield. At about the 40 that let Moore get to the outside. Scotty, I can't help but remember the first play ever for the Miami Dolphins. Their first season, their first game, 1966, Orange Bowl against the Oakland Raiders, season opener. A fellow named Joe Hour ran back the opening kickoff for 95 yards and a touchdown. And the guy who was with that club at the time, with Miami, Jimmy Warren, now with Oakland, was one of two guys who had a real shot at Moore. But Jimmy got blocked at about the 30, and Mike Dennery, the linebacker, pulled up with what looked to be a pulled muscle, perhaps a hamstring, at about the 25. Now the Dolphin kickoff goes against, goes toward the Raiders. Hart, Hart takes it up the 11, up to the 15, the 20, the 25, sidestep, barrels to the 30, and he's in a pack and brought down at 31 yard line. Harold Hart brought down by Tom Nottingham, the reserve fullback. Now the Oakland Raiders with their offensive unit. Stabler at quarterback. Clarence Davis and Marv Hubbard, the running backs. Wide receivers, Cliff Branch and Fred Belutnikoff. The tight end, Bob Moore. From left to right in the interior line, Art Shell, Gene Upshaw, Jim Otto, George Peeler, and John Bella. Miami leads 7-0. That's the only thing we didn't talk about in the pregame show is a return kickoff for a touchdown. Give you the Dolphin defense in a moment. Stabler under center. Odd defense puts Hines over the center. Davis now skitters through a hole up to the 35-yard line up the middle and a knot of tacklers led by Bob Mathis and knocks him down. The Dolphins front four very well known, once the no-namers. At left end, Vern Den Herter. Left tackle, Manny Fernandez from San Lorenzo. The right tackle, Bob Hines. The right end, Bill Stanfill. The middle linebacker, the great Nick Bonacati. The right linebacker, Mike Colin. The left linebacker, Bob Mathis, who's been a regular since Doug Swift went down with a broken arm in midseason. More later. Here's Branch to the left. The left Nick to the right at second and six. Bonacati jams in in the middle and then drops off the line of scrimmage. And here's the handoff to Hubbard. Hubbard blows by Bonacati and blasts up to the 39-yard line. The Raiders on the snap caught the Dolphins in a little shift at the line of scrimmage, and I think they used it to advantage. Bob Hines finally made the tackle. Well, Hubbard made a little move, Bill, and he spotted that, too, when he came up to the line. It looked like he had intended originally to go left off tackle, but he made a move back inside between the guard and the center because he saw that shift by the Dolphins. Raiders about a yard and a half short of the first down on third down. Third down, almost two. Tim Foley is the left corner. Curtis Johnson in the right corner. The safeties are Dick Anderson and Jake Scott for the Dolphins. Now they slot branch to the left inside Bolotnikov. 
first third down play of the day. Hand off to Hubbard. He blows across the 41, and I think he made it. Stancil stopped him, threw him back a bit, but it appeared that he had the 41 or 42-yard line before Stancil and Hines made the tackle. First down, Oakland. They trail 7-0. The ball game, exactly two minutes old at this instant. Nat Moore, the rookie. 5'9 nine and a half, 180 from the University of Florida, who's been a big factor for this club, ran back that opening kickoff 89 yards for the touchdown. Branch to the left against Johnson. Boletnikov goes out to the right against Foley. Hand off to Hubbard. Hubbard doesn't make much and is blasted back by Buonacanti along with Jake Scott and Manny Fernandez. Trying to go over right guard. There was a little bit of a hole, but the play didn't really develop crisply and uh, it was jammed back in. Now the Dolphins bring in Larry Ball for Bob Hines. With Matheson, a regular, they bring in Ball as their fourth linebacker in what they call their 53 defense, or what corresponds to the Oakland Orange. Nat Moore, incidentally, is uh, one to third in the final league stats and kickoff returns. He returned 22 for 587 yards, 26.7, but had not scored a touchdown until this one today. Branch to the left, Boletnikov to the right. Saber drops back for his first pass of the day. He looks. He throws up field in the middle of the zone. It's deflected. It is intercepted by Anderson at the 30-yard line. That's the 35. Back to the 40, middle of the field, the 45. He's brought down at the 48. Bob Matheson deflected the pass in front of Branch, and Anderson behind Branch made the catch. There were four men in that area of the zone. Marv Hubbard made the tackle on Anderson's return. The Dolphins did not have the interception record they did in past season, only 16, but they get off to a good start here as it's time out on the field. 11.49 to go in the first quarter. The scoreboard showing Miami 7 and Oakland nothing. With a field general of Greasy's caliber, they couldn't be more advantageous uh, than to start where they are right now, Scotty, on their own 48-yard line. I would have thought before the game that uh, Shula, Don Shula, the Miami coach, would have accepted this field position after the opening kickoff. Instead, he got a touchdown on the opening kickoff. An interception puts him on his own 48. You can't ask for much more than that. Now the Dolphins with Warfield wide to the left, Nat Moore to the right. Benny Malone in the backfield along with Zonka. First and ten. Breezy with his first play foot scrimmage today. And he gives to Zonka. Zonka drives over left tackle to the 49-yard line of the Raiders. Stopped by Horace Jones. A gain of three. Flag was down. So the Dolphins look at, as if they're going to benefit from an Oakland penalty here. Personal foul. I didn't see against whom it was called. 15 yards. It was on the... On the tackle, I think after Jones hit him, they ruled that somebody came in late. Connors and Jones stopped him. Don Nottingham, the man they call the human bowling ball, has been a very valuable backup fullback this year and has scored some key touchdowns, is now in. He scored eight touchdowns rushing. He's in for uh, Zonka. Warfield to the left. It's first and 10 in the Oakland 34, and things have gone sour early for the Raiders. Here's a double wing now. Breezy with a long count. Now he gives uh, to uh, Malone, and Malone is hit by Connors and buried at the 35. He loses a yard. Connors had immediate help from Villapiano and Horace Jones. So it'll be second and 11. Zonka comes back in now for Nottingham. The Raiders really have to try to turn the momentum of this game around by themselves here. One turnover they've suffered already. And they must try to achieve some turnovers of their own to take away from the Dolphins. The Raiders put 13 men on the field. Now they bring two off. They had extra backs, and they've got an orange defense now. And the Dolphins, Greasy goes over to say something to the official. Now Greasy has used up a lot of his time. He gets off the play, however, to Zonka. Zonka is cracked at the line of scrimmage and gets very little. He's thrown back by the entire left side of the Raider line. They try to go over Norm Evans, the right tackle. All right, here's a, here's a wrinkle in the game. Madden sent in Monty Johnson and somebody else. So they had 13 men in the huddle, and they didn't bring two men out 
to the required 11 until the Dolphins broke their offensive huddle. Now, we saw this earlier in the year. Henry Strand of Kansas City, the great innovator, did this. He feels it would give the defense just a little bit of an edge because it puts some question in the quarterback's mind as to what that defense will do. Third and nine, Tim Manage is in a tight end for the Dolphins. Jim Kick is in with Zonka in the backfield. The Raiders bring Monty Johnson off, but they have five defensive backs with Warren in now. Oh, this is going to be a tactical butte today. To the left is Warfield, to the right is Moore. That's Nat Moore. And a Raider jumped offside. Back goes Reese setting up. Play is being blown dead, however, before he can execute. Somebody, I think it was Tom, came over the middle, but he may have been drawn. He was. Illegal procedure. Now, it's delay of the game. It is delay of the game. I had not seen the preliminary sign. Toms came across the line of scrimmage, but that was immaterial because the, Do- the Dolphins used too much time. It is now third and 14. Monty Johnson came into the huddle, but nobody comes off yet. So they don't disclose to the Dolphins until the last second when they come up to the line of scrimmage what their defense is in the way of personnel. Now, Warren is drifting off as if he's coming out of here, but that's a decoy. Here comes Monty Johnson out. So you got four rushers up there. Now back to pass, Greasy again, setting up. Looks deep, going to Warfield behind the defense, and he is incomplete. He was cut down by double teaming on the goal line. The Dolphins are angry. They're screaming over there that it was pass interference. For a moment, Warfield broke between the two defenders and got behind them. But then the pass didn't lead him enough. He tripped over Jack Tatum, who was back there to help out Nehemiah Wilson. Larry Seifel comes over to punt, or comes in to punt. The Raiders hold the ball on the 38-yard line of Oakland. 7 nothing Miami on the opening kickoff return by Nat Moore. The snap. Seifel doesn't punt him long, but he punts them very accurately and hangs them well. He slices this one out of bounds, going for the left sideline. It went out in the vicinity of the 10. They put it on the 13 where the official marks it. Time is out on the field with 9.42 to go. We're in the first quarter, and the scoreboard shows Miami 7, Oakland nothing. So we discussed before the game how Shula might attack Oakland's orange defense. That's a three-down lineman and the four linebackers. And, of course, they get into a fifth defensive back. Oakland today, with this little bit of deception, picking up, borrowing something from Kansas City, of course, puts a burden on Shula in that respect. More directly, Greasy, he just can't call that thing in the huddle. He may have to audibleize. First and ten on the 13. Branch to the left. Bolotnikov to the right. The handoff goes to Clarence Davis, who slants hard over the 15, up to the 17-and-a-half-yard line, knocked down by Mathis in the left linebacker. Incidentally, I haven't mentioned that since the kickoff, Scotty, I think the actual precipitation has ceased. The air is very thick with a, a hazy, misty feel to it, but I don't believe we're getting anything really coming down. They go to the 53 defense now with Ball coming in the ball game for Hines. Ball lines up outside Dan Herter at left end, but in the standing position. Here's the handoff to Hubbard, a big hole up the middle, and he plows his way to the 25-yard line, tackled by Johnson, and it's the first time open. Oh, the Raider middle that time did a whale of a blocking job as Hubbard had that big area to rumble through. Here's Hines coming in now for ball. So they've got four rushers again as the Raiders have the ball on their own 25, trailing 7-0. Stabler running the club, of course. He was voted this week as the most uh, valuable player in the AFC. Branch slots left inside Boletnikov. Quick count, give to Hubbard. Runs right into the middle of the defense and is driven back and knocked down by Stanfield, the right linebacker, as... Hubbard was trying to go over Gene Upshaw's left guard position, but up he couldn't budge anybody, and he was driven right back into the ball carrier. Now back in comes Larry Ball for the Dolphins, replacing Hines. The fog over and around the Coliseum here seems to be very thin because the sun at times acts as if it might even break through. It's much lighter than it was. Branch to the left, Boletnikov to the right. Dolphins have Fernandez right over the head of Jim Otto. Man in motion to the right is Davis. Back to pass goes Stabler. He's 0 for 1. There's a long pass intended for Branch up the left side against Johnson. He can't hold on. 
at the 33-yard line, left sideline. Johnson looked like he might have a beat on it all the way. Ranch suddenly spurted a step past him, but couldn't hang on to the pass. It would have been a great catch had he made it. He hesitated a little bit and then sped out, which decoyed Johnson just enough, but he couldn't hold on. He was running absolutely with his back to the ball, Bill, and had to come up over his own uh, face mask. Very tough. He couldn't even turn around. So one thing uh, different between the game last year and this, Oakland much more familiar with the 53 or the orange because they use it themselves and work against it all week. That wasn't the case last year. Now it's third ten, slot right. Here comes a blitz up the middle. They pick it up. He looks, he throws. Well, let me cross for the comeback. Shoots the top for the 35 and dives to the 40 for a first down. Fred made a good catch in front of Tim Foley, the left cornerback, right at the 36, and peeled back, shook the tackler, and got about four more. Belichnikov was caught 450 career passes. 14th in the all-time list. Number one active in the AFC. And he's become very adept at this particular hook or comeback pattern under the zone defenses. Now, splitting left is Branch. To the right, Boletnikov. Raiders trying to take it a little bit at a time, except for the one they went to Branch and didn't complete. Hand off to Hubbard. Tripped up nicely by Matheson at the 41. He submarined the play as Hubbard began to accelerate. It'll be second and nine. They bring ball back in now for Hines in the orange defense. Dolphins very seldom play around with their secondary going to five defensive backs as the Raiders do. They have great confidence in that zone, Bill, as well. They might. Chu has been very successful with it, not only at Miami, but before that at Baltimore, where he went to Super Bowls. John Madden, by the way, has put on a parka now. Branch to the left, Boletnikov to the right. Back to pass Stabler. Good blocking. Now he throws badly. Trying to lay it off to Bob Moore out to the right. He was kind of a safety valve at the 45, but Foley coming up on the rotating zone had him covered. And Stabler may have thrown it low and into the dirt deliberately because it was not an easy pass to complete to Moore and he probably wouldn't have gained much on it had he made the catch. This is a tough down against Miami in that very, very disciplined zone. Third and nine, they figure you almost have to go to the air and of course they can put pretty good pass rush on and they sit back in those tight zones. Very difficult down against Miami. Ball lines up outside the right end this time. Branch left, Boletnikov right back to pass. They pick up the uh, rush. There's a hand pass to Branch, and he slapped at the 49. Short of the first down. Good tackle by Charlie Babb, who is in the secondary now. Babb replaced Jake Scott. I don't know whether Scott was hurt or not. And the Raiders are going to punt here with a fourth and one. They trail 7-0. Dropping back in single safety is Nat Moore, who chilled the Raiders with that 89-yard kickoff return. Now the Dolphins drop two more men back in short positions. Babb and Anderson as Guy takes the snap, strides into his punt, lifts a beauty, drifting high. Moore back, and it's landing in the four and bounding into the end zone. So it'll be a touchback as Guy boots one 51 yards, but the Dolphins get it out on their own 20. Time out on the field. 5.25 to go. First quarter in the scoreboard shows Miami 7, Oakland nothing. The Dolphin offense has run only five plays thus far. Here they are with their second possession on the 20-yard line, but that kickoff return gives them the 7 nothing lead. They have Benny Malone and Zonka in the backfield. Warfield goes to the left. Out to the right comes Matt Moore. Breezy gives to Zonka, sends him powering off left tackle, and he is knocked down at the 25 as he picks up five. Horace Jones clutching at him. Wayne Moore and Jim Kuchenberg, the left tackle and the left guard, just power out that time. Zonka, uh, Zonka slants. It'll be second and five. Now, that's the thing we were talking about in the pregame show. If they can carve out five, five and a half yards, six yards a pop on first down, they get you where they want you. Slot left for the first time today. The wide man is Moore, picked up by Wilson. The slot back, of course, is Warfield, picked up by Skip Thomas. And the handoff here goes to Malone. He dives across the 30 to the 32. Quick start that time. The defense stacked up the blocking. Kuchenberg right at the line of scrimmage. Connors submarined in, but Moore just dived over the top. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Oakland Raiders Football Network. 
Miami first and ten. It's important to the Raiders if they can contain the Dolphins here and force them to punt before they drive deep in Oakland territory. Momentum, lots of factors involved. Here's a handoff to Zonka over left guard. Booth past the 35, carries a tackler with him up to the 38. And Zonka beginning to get some momentum now. He limps a little bit as he goes back to the huddle, but he plays very effectively hurt. The key against Zonko, of course, is for the big defensive lineman to get a good hit on him because he's so big and strong. He's bigger than most linebackers and, and bigger than any defensive back, and they have a tough time with him. That's why he gets those eight yards because he gets the three yards, you know, once he gets beyond that defensive line. That's where you got to stop him. He had almost six that time. It's second and four. More to the right with Warfield in the slot. They give it to Zonko. He's hit by Villapiano and just breaks right through up to the 41. Phil hit him, and he went three yards with Filipiano hanging on before Tom came to his help. He's just like a big workhorse shaking off a couple of gnats. Swish his tail, and off they go. Third down and about one. Moore goes out of there. They bring in Mandich, so they'll have double tight ends. again seems to be penetrating more effectively against the overhead fog. Now tight blocking up front. Warfield post flanked about a yard to the right. Raiders jam in a bit in the middle. Third and one. Now the handoff to Malone. Malone follows Zonka through. First down to the 45. Still on his feet. Finally driven back, but he has progress to the 45 where Iron stopped it. That's another thing Zonka can do. He can lead the way through that hole. And that's exactly what he did that time. Now the Dolphins go back to their regular wide receivers. On this possession, Scotty, the Raiders have not at all used their deception defensive huddle. Going with Bubba and Sistron, Toms and Jones up front, Villapiano, Connors, and Irons, the linebackers, Thomas and Wilson, the corners, and Atkinson and Tatum, the safeties. Slot left Miami. Ball in their own 46 first down. Gracie backpedals into the pocket. He looks, he rifles a quick out to Moore. Makes the catch at the 48 of the Raiders. Down to the 40. And upended by Nehemiah Wilson at the 38. Just inside the sideline. First and 10. Now, Greasy nibbling away at the Raider defense. The Raider cornerbacks were dropping off deep to protect against both Moore and Warfield, who are deep threats, and Moore ran the short pattern to the sideline. Now they've advanced to the... They put it just inside the 38-yard line of the Raiders. The crowd has been rather severely quieted since the opening kickoff, which Moore returned 89 yards for a score. Back to the eye this time with Warfield left and Moore out to the right. Hand off to Zonka, the up back, and he piles over the right side down to about the 34-yard line with Fleming, the tight end, leading the blocking. Connors, Bubba Smith helped in the tackle. They put it on the 33, and Scotty, it's five a pop every first down. Just exactly what we were talking about in last year's game in December. Exactly, and of course, they don't have to worry about throwing the ball when they come up to these, these downs. Even when they went to more, it was first and ten, not necessarily a throwing down. I think that's why you're not going to see Oakland with their deception, because they haven't had those tough throwing downs. Breezy's one for two right now. That completion a few moments ago. Warfield to the left, Nat Moore to the right. Long count, and Kuchenberg jumps the count at left guard. He went to count too soon. Illegal procedure, flags ball. It'll be second and ten. The Dolphins coming into this game mark the fifth consecutive season that they are in the playoffs, all since Shula's arrival. Overall in the playoffs, they've won eight and lost two. At home, they're four and oh, away from home, four and two. Now they bring Mandich on at tight end. He's a pass catcher at that position. He's caught 33 this year, averaging a little over 11 yards a carry, six of them for touchdowns. The Raiders go into their deception huddle, and now they've got an orange defense in with Monty Johnson. Monty lines up defensively speaking on the right side. Warfield to the left for the Dolphins. More to the right. Here's a trap play to cook it up. Great play. Out comes Neil Malone at the line of scrimmage. That's a play that if you get past that first line of defense, a guy like Malone can get big yardage in the secondary. But it's third and nine and a half. They gain, well, it's third and nine, they put it down now. Barely a yard. And they bring on Jim Kick. So two power backs, Kick and Zonka, here on third down. And, of course, Kick from the halfback position has been a very valuable receiver for the Dolphins, and the Raiders are aware of that. 
they'll look for a kick to be out there in that passing route. There's the gun sounding the end of the first quarter, and the scoreboard shows Miami 7, Oakland nothing. Now the teams have changed ends of the field. The Dolphins are driving from our right to our left. They're coming up on a third down and about nine and a half situation. The ball on the Oakland 32-yard line. Dan Connors has been over to talk to John Madden and now goes before going back on the field to see Don Schinnick, linebacker coach. Breezy comes back from the meeting with Shula on the opposite side, always a cool customer. Breezy, 60% completion on his passes this year. And he's the heart and nerve center of this, of this Dolphin offense. He's what makes all the components click together. Third and nine and a half. They're not in field goal range at this point. Now Monty Johnson, Johnson comes off. The Raiders have three rushers and an F, extra defensive back in. Back to pass goes Greasy. Shutting up with protection. He throws. Batted down by Nehemiah Wilson. Cutting in front of Warfield at the 25 as he ran the out pattern. Nehemiah. Fine play on Warfield, the great veteran. And so crazy is one for three, and in comes Larry Seifel to punt. And that time he kept both his backs in. They wanted to go to Warfield, and they needed that maximum protection. They figured the Raiders were just blowing, which they were. Kicking the fullback, staying in the pass block for three seeing A great play by Nehemiah. I mentioned that Jake Scott had not been in in the last defensive uh, stand for the Dolphins against the Raiders, and I noticed him sitting over on the sideline. Whether he'll be back on this next Raider possession, I don't know. Here's the snap. Seifel kicks one for the left coffin corner, but he didn't get the corner. Lands on the four and bounds into the end zone. End zone will have a touchback, and the Raiders take the football at the 20 with Stabler coming on to run the offense again. Up to this moment, each team has run 13 plays. Miami, four first downs, Oakland three. Miami, 49 yards, offense, Oakland 46. That's even as they can be. The difference in the game right now, purely and simply, Matt Moore's kickoff return. Now the Raiders with Stabler at quarterback, sending the Lutnitz off to the left, and Branch is in the slot. Hand off to Hubbard, powers over right guard, and doesn't, he's still on his feet, and he's up to the 23 with a second effort after Jim Otto. George Beeler cleared a little bit of daylight for him. Bob Moore tried to get a block to help him, and Stanfield made the stop after Hubbard kept thrashing and pumping away for about almost four. Last year at the end of the first quarter, we had the identical score, Miami 7, uh, Oakland nothing. But Miami, <laughs> in that game, on their first uh, possession, after receiving the opening kickoff, they marched for the touchdown. Uh, Oakland was able to reach their own 48 in the first period. Here they were able to reach their own 49. Miami, Miami had control of the line of scrimmage better in that ball game at that point. Here's a handoff to Davis. Sidesteps to Tucker and quick back up the middle of the 28-yard line where Den Herder makes the stop. And Manny Fernandez hit him down low also. They were in the orange defense that time. And Scotty Charlie Babb is again in the secondary, replacing Scott at free safety. Now, what Scott's injury is, we've not been informed. Obviously, it must be an injury because Jake Scott is a very integral part of the Miami Dolphin defense. Now, set it's third and two and a half for the Raiders. They were going to pass. He looks. He's got time. And the ball pops out of his hands. He tried to pull it back at the last second from what it appeared. He was looking to Boletnikov up the right. His arm came through, and the ball stayed in his hands, and he just wound, wound, out, wound up, kind of grounding it off to his right, as if he just lost control of it, or else he thought better at the last second, tried to pull it back, and wound up doing that. Oakland trying to confuse Miami a little bit. In the first period, when they had a third and two, they went to a ground play. This time on third and two, he went to the air. So it gives Miami something to think about. Here's Ray Guy, the AFC punting champion, 42.2 per kick over the year, 51 yards the last time he booted. Here's the snap. The kick is away, and he sliced it badly off the right side of the foot. But it's going to... Oh, it's a man is bumped. Anderson was bumped by Harold Hart as he was waiting for the punt. There's a flag down, and the Raiders will be penalized. The ball was not kicked as high as Guy wanted. It was somewhat off the side of the foot. At the 40-yard line, Anderson was waiting for it, and Hart came down and crashed into him, interfering with him illegally. It'll be a penalty against Oakland, and the Dolphins again will have excellent field position. The report on Jake Scott, he suffered a twisted knee in the first defensive stand of the uh, Dolphins. It's possible he will play some more, but it's in the area of right now they don't really know. 
15 yards against the Raiders, and those are the penalties you just can't afford. You cannot afford those penalties. Time is out on the field. And with uh, 13.20 to go in the second quarter, the scoreboard shows Miami 20 and, excuse me, Miami 7 and Oakland nothing. Oakland defense starting to be asked to carry a pretty good-sized burden here now with the Dolphins getting these possessions at midfield or even better. Dolphins' field position started at their own 48, at their own 20, and at the Oakland 44 this time. Now in the back to the I formation. Warfield comes left and Moore goes right. There's the hand up to Zonka, and he rams ahead. He's hit and dropped by Irons at about the 42. Tried to get the blocking that time from Wayne Moore, the left tackle. Gained about two. Pressure on Oakland's defense, Bill. The last possession by Miami. They reached to Oakland's 33. A penalty aided them, uh, aided Oakland at that point, and they eventually forced them to kick. But now they're at Oakland's 42, and, of course, any time they're across that 50, that pressure starts to mount on the defense. Monty Johnson is in for Bubba on the orange defense now. Monty lines up at the left end position outside of Sistrunk. Warfield to the left. Moore to the right. Breezy dropping back, setting up the pass. Kept his, his flat backs in, but he's hit and up. Great rush for the Raiders behind the 50. Art Tom, Monty Johnson, Sistrunk and Jones, all four pouring in on him, even though he kept in both backs to block that time. There was a superb charge by the Oakland defense. Johnson got good heat on from the defensive right end, and he's the one that forced Greasy to duck, allowing the others the time to pour in on him. In the first quarter, Miami controlled the ball for eight minutes and seven seconds. Oakland for six minutes, 53 seconds. That's pretty even. All right, to the left goes Warfield. To the right is Moore. It's third and 17. They've got Mandich in a tight end. They can look for him a lot of times. Back goes Grace. He sucks up deep. He lets him come in on him inside, step to the left. He's in trouble. He's running. Johnson misses him. Just front chases him out of bounds at the 47-yard line of the Raiders. Marty Johnson took a flying dive when finally Greasy decided the only outlet was to run for his life. Monty missed him behind the 50-yard line, but Sistrunk pursued him out, and it'll be fourth down, and Seifel comes in upon and the Raider defense has been equal to the task the last two times they've been called on. In the first down, interestingly, Miami ran six first down plays and made 35 yards. That's almost six a, a try. Open ran five plays and made 12. Seifel punted 25 yards the only other time, but he was punting from, here's the snap, and the boot is away as a good rush was put on, and back as Ron Smith takes it in the 15, up to the 20, sidesteps, he's hit and dropped at the 23-yard line, trying to find a little chink in that first wave, Henry Stuckey came down to nail him, Henry Stuckey came out of Merritt College, and so it'll be first and 10 Oakland. The ball on their own 22-yard line. They have not been on the opponent's side of the 50 today. Kenny Stabler at quarterback while time is out on the field right now, and we retain it here. At this moment, we have 11.51, a lot of time remaining to play in the second quarter. I said off mic the last time there was a timeout, and we had broken away here before the Dolphins started that possession on open 44. I said to Scotty, it would seem to me that the Raiders... Even if they don't generate a lot of offense, if they can move the ball some, take a little heat off their own defense, and then the defense continue to stand up. If they're only down 7 nothing at halftime with the uh, reception of the kickoff in the second half, they're not in bad shape at all. But that's very pivotal to do at least that. Another factor along that same vein, Bill, which, which would help Oakland, the Oakland team is a very, very strong team physically. <laughs> and although they've not done much offensively, they have pounded that Miami defense. Now, if they can, for instance, in this situation, drive the field, maintain that ball for five or six minutes, and continue to pound Miami, I think in the later stages of this game, middle of the third period, fourth quarter, you're going to see Oakland's physical dominance come to the front. All right, to the left goes Branch in the slot. Inside bullet, they caught more the tight end on the right side. Saber on a play fake, back to pass, rolls out to the left, throws back inside to bullet, they caught. He makes the catch at the 35, trying to peel back. He was dropped by Matheson at the 32. Fred was looking for a little running room, made a semicircle, and he had had the first down, and by running backward and getting tackled, may have lost it. Let's see. It's going to be very close. Mike, even yes, it does call for a measurement. 
One other factor, Scotty, and that is not to denigrate a young man named Charlie Babb in his third year from Memphis State, but he's been thrown the burden of playing Jake Scott's position. If this is a tight ball game somewhere, the Raiders might find that he's not quite as integrated in that defense as Scott is and might find a little hole. Well, of course, Scott's a great veteran, Bill, and veteran defensive backs do a lot of things with their head as well as their body, and of course, you can't expect Babb to be at that point. The Raiders short by about two inches. Boletnikoff uh, coming back after making a catch, hoping to uh, sprint upfield, did not get the first down on the catcher. About two inches, three inches short. All right, it'll be second down. The Dolphins, with their normal rushing four in, Ben Herter, Fernandez, Hines, and Stanfield. Well, let me cough wide to the left with Branch in the slot. Hand off to Hubbard. He follows Davis through, and he rams it up to the 36-yard line for a first down for Oakland. Down on the bottom with Stansville to make the tackle, along with Nick Juanacati. One aspect that we hadn't considered, at least on the air here, Scotty, and that is... You recall when the Raiders defeated Miami and ended their win string at Berkeley in early uh, in the 73 season, they somewhat nullified the great mobility of Bonacani by running a lot of stuff right at him. Of course, uh, Nick's great strength is his quickness. He, he's really not big enough to handle that straight-on stuff, and that's the only way you can really nullify him. If you try and go around him, he's just too quick. Now the Dolphins in their uh, 53, rolling to the left is Stabler. Now he sets up. Fires one to Hubbard over the middle at the 40. Hubbard, head down, rams, takes the tackle to the 45. Trapped by Matheson. He knocked Mike Colin head over heels. He really slammed him. They were just lobbing a little pass to Hubbard on an early release over the middle. Now we're seeing something we haven't seen with Kenny Staber most of this year. He is rolling out of there. He's not going straight back. Now during a good part of this season, Kenny had problems with his knees and did not want to do that. When he saw Lawrence in there, you saw a roll plays. Today, Kenny is rolling. He had lots of time that time, that moving pocket. Upshaw standing up in front of him and giving him a good look downfield. Second and one, the regular rushers are back in. They're not in the uh, 53 anymore. Ball came out, slot left. Hand off to Davis. Davis skitters past the line of scrimmage to the 50 to the 45. Still on his feet at the 40. Touchdown from behind at the 37-yard line by Curtis Johnson. First and 10 Oakland. Their first penetration of the day into Miami real estate. Larry Ball comes in. The Dolphins go to the 53 as Hines comes out. Hubbard was out in front to lead the blocking that time to let Davis slide by the line of scrimmage and get out there where he can fly. Anderson missed him before he was brought down by Curtis Johnson. And the sun is finally actually smelling off some of the overhead fog. Here's Otto to the ball. Branch to the left. Boletnikov to the right. Miami leads it 7 0. 9.15 remaining. We're in quarter number two. The handoff here goes to Davis. Following Hubbard through, but not getting much. Off the right side at the 35. Matheson on top with Fernandez down below, along with Ben Herter, stopped the play. Jim Otto really couldn't wedge too much that time. They got about a yard and a half. Hubbard has carried eight times for 23 yards as he gets his first rest. Davis five times for 31 yards. Banizak is in. Second and eight. That's a long eight, however. Bill King with Scotty Sterling. It's tingly time at the Coliseum in Oakland. Everybody on edge. Miami leading 7-0. Slot left. Branch inside Boletnikov. They keep a linebacker out there to... Try to contain him a little bit. Hand off. Goes to Banizak. Slants outside. Left tackle brought down by Stanfield, along with Ball, who lined up on that side in the orange defense at the 31-yard line the tackle made. Now it'll be a big third down play. For what it's worth on third down situations today, Oakland two for four. Miami one for four. Stabler thus far has passed four successfully for eight. Uh, four out of eight, and with one uh, intercepted, Greasy is only one out of three. Now Clarence Davis comes out, and Charlie Smith is in for the Raiders. The veteran probably brought a play in. It's third and five and a half. On a quick count, Saber drops straight back, shuts up, pumps, lobs one down the middle for Smith. Touchdown, Raiders! Catches one from 32 yards down the middle. The identical pattern and play that Smith ran and Sabler hit him on against the Dallas Cowboys. 
Seven six. Landa tries to equalize it. Spot kick. It's up. It's good. It's a new game. I'm out on the field. Seven thirty nine to go. Second quarter. Scoreboard showing Miami seven. Oakland seven. Yakovenko will kick off from the Raiders 35, moving from our left to our right. Moore is back, and here's the kickoff. And it's kicked away from Moore, sticking up the left side at the 15, back to the 20, 25 by Malone, the 30, 35 by uh, Hubert Ginn, rather. And he's knocked off his feet, almost at the 39-yard line. Where are they going to mark it? 37, they say. So it'll be first and ten for Miami, a fairly nice return on a not particularly long kick by Giacomenko. And now the Raider crowd takes up the chant of defense, defense. Particularly all those people down there in Arch Army for Arch Tom. Raiders now have a play domination of 23 to 16, yardage domination of 129 to 46, a first down domination of 6 to 4. Slot left. Man in motion coming back to the right is Nat Moore. Following him across is Thomas. Hand off the ball, explodes up the middle, still on his feet at the 45, and he stopped at the 47. A double team effort for the safeties, Atkinson and Tatum. Malone, who can fly once he gets by that line of scrimmage, gets up, holding his right thigh a little bit, limping, but as he comes back to the huddle, kick now comes into the ball game. The Dolphin bench spotted that. That's a first down, and Malone really chewed it up that time for 11 yards. Dolphins break their huddle. Moore, Kuchenberg, Langer, Little, and Evans left to right in the interior line. Here's Warfield to the left against Williams. Uh, against Wilson. To the right, Moore against Skip Thomas. Back to the eye. Gives it Zonka. Gets the block. Drives across the 50. Bubba can't hold him all alone. He needs help from Connors down at the 46-yard line of Oakland. Norm Evans firing out at right tackle. Giving Zonka a little running room that time, and they get him rumbling again. Zonka at this moment has made... 28 yards on eight carries. Malone, 24 on five trips. Greasy has thrown three times, completed one for 16. Kenny Stabler standing on the sideline, hoping the defense can contain here after he got the Raiders on the board. Now they line up more as a tight end with only Warfield wide to the left. Shift, shift the backs into a split. Second down and four. The handoff to kick, and he finds his way down to the 44-yard line over the right side. Kind of stuttering and trying to find the hole. Kuchenberg pulling the lead. Now Mandich coming in. They'll be third in short yardage, so they go to double tight ends, taking more out of there. And Benny Malone comes back in the backfield, replacing Kick. Now the Dolphins in the past, Bill, have been known to gamble in this situation. Third and short, bring two tight ends in and go to that old familiar play fake. It started here in Oakland and went to Green Bay and has caught many a team in playoff games. They've done it on this field position. It caught the Raiders in the Super Bowl in 67 to Max McGee from, right, from uh, Star. All set now. Greasy turns, he gives to Zonka, he's got the first down, he's still on his feet, and he drives to the 35-yard line, leaving a trail of devastation in his wake. Filipiano and Skip Thomas had a piece of him, couldn't bring him down until they got more help. And we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Oakland Raiders Football Network. Now to the left is Warfield. To the right is uh, Moore. And again to Zonka. And Zonka slams over the left guard. He really didn't have any daylight. He ran over irons and kept shoving and just crashing in until he was slowed down and brought to a halt. Down low, the guy who had the biggest part of him was Sistra. He was stopped at about the 32-yard line. It'll be second and seven. Ten more yards, and the Dolphins will be in uh, pretty good field goal range. There's 4.09 left to go in this first half. 4.05 to go now as the clock ticks down to the four-minute mark. Slot left. Second down, seven for Miami. Raiders would like to get a takeaway here. Moore in motion out to the right. Thomas follows him across. Greasy gives here to Malone, and Malone slices. Doesn't get much. Brought down at the 30-yard line by Monty Johnson, who was in in the orange defense that time. Now it'll come up third and five. And they bring Mandich into the ball game for Fleming. They'll run with one tight end, the two wide receivers. And with Kick coming in in the backfield, Kick offers two possibilities. Very good blocker with Zonka for protection for Greasy, but also they throw to him. 
Last time they kept him in as a blocker on the uh, right side of Greasy. We'll see what they do this time. Very good receiver. Raiders orange defense. Monty Johnson lines up on the defensive left side. Warfield on the left against Wilson. To the right, Moore against Kip Thomas. Split backs. They don't keep him in. They set him out. He fires over the middle. He's got kicked. He's got the first down on the 24. Connors had him covered, but Kick made the catch. Connors dropped him in his tracks. Just slanting out from the backfield, turning and waiting for the quick, greasy release. And so the Dolphins come up with the right play, and now they're getting within field goal range. The premium this year has not had the kind of a year he did last year. Of course, none of the field goal kickers have had as many opportunities. Garrow is 9 for 15. He's hit only once beyond 40 yards in five tries, and that was at 43, as long for the year. If they were to field goal kick from this position, it would be a little longer than that. Warfield of the left. More to the right. Back goes Tracy. Shutting up. Got time. He's going deep to Moore. Man falls, but he is under throw. Kip Thomas fell on the five when Moore made his cut to the corner at the goal line. But the ball was under thrown or he'd have had an easy six. And, Bill, you have to credit pass rush because of that. Greasy was under big pressure. He really couldn't see Moore. He didn't have good balance when he threw. He was in a backing up position because of that rush. And with Skip Thomas going down, if he had had time, that would have been seven. John Shula for a moment there on the sideline, considering the meaning of that. If they were to kick right now a field goal, it would be, we were saying, about 47 yards. Bandage is in, so they've got three men they can go to. Two wide receivers and the tight end. Malone in the backfield with Zonka. Warfield comes left. Out to the right is Moore. With Skip Thomas playing him head up. And coming across the line of scrimmage with Toms, the handoff. Zonka, he stopped at the line of scrimmage, gets up and tries to run some more. He was stopped at the 25, however. I don't know why he thought he wasn't touched. Horace Jones had just drunk and hit him and dropped him. He must have thought he ran into his own man and hadn't been touched by a silver and black clad football player. Coming to the two-minute warning now, it'll be third and ten for the Dolphins on the Raider 25. And there's the timeout signal. Two-minute warning going to both benches with two minutes remaining. Second quarter. Scoreboard showing Miami 7, Oakland 7. This is a down, Bill, that Oakland has to hold. It's third and ten at the Raider 25. If they hold on this down, it'll mean about a 42-yard field goal by Ukramium. And as you pointed out, he hasn't been all that accurate when he gets into that range this year. Yeah, I think I may have said 47 a few moments ago. That was an error. I'm sorry, it's 42. You're right. They would spot it at about the 32-yard line. Now the Dolphins bring Nottingham in. The Raiders bring Monty Johnson out. Oakland still has only three rushers. They go to Jimmy Warren, a fifth defensive back. Nottingham came in for Sanka. He's in the backfield with kick. Warfield to the left. Moore to the right. The tight end is Mandich. It is third and ten. Long count by Greasy. Now he takes a snap. Drops back into the pocket. Setting up. Lots of time. Nobody open. Now he's going to run. Now he hesitates. Now he comes back to the right. He's still running. He finally unloads it behind the line of scrimmage to Nottingham. He's at the 25, at the 20. He drives down to the 16-yard line. Short of the first down. Skip Thomas and Connors got him. Greasy extricated himself from a difficult situation. Looking left, looking right. The Raiders had everything covered, but Nottingham came back to the area where Greasy had retreated to the right, made the catch, had found some running room, and now your premium is in for the possible three-pointer, and he surely got a better shot at it than he would if they'd have been able to sack Greasy. It'll be marked and spotted at the 24-yard line. We're down to 113 to go in this first quarter. More of a hole, so it'll be a 34-yard attempt on the little left-footed Cypriot. Snap, spot, the kick on the way. It is good. And so from 34 yards, Gero, your premium, unties this football game. The Raiders, from the standpoint of scrimmage play, have fought the Dolphins virtually to a standstill. They have kept them out of the end zone. The big factor, of course, in Miami's getting on the board early was the earliest possible when Nat Moore ran the kickoff back 89 yards to start the game. So we have a minute and one second left to go in this second quarter. Ukrainian will kick off. The Raiders will have Hart back along with Ron Smith. Up in the wedge, you have Banizak, Casper, Van Egan, and Bankston. 
Now the Dolphins have a slight play edge, 26 to the Raiders, 23. They have seven first downs to open six. The Raiders still have a yardage advantage in the game, totally of 129-94. Yepremian advances on the ball, kicks it high but not real deep. Waiting for it, Hart on the 11 along with Smith. Hart takes it to the 20, the 25, explodes straight ahead to the 30. Stucky and Babb knock him down, and it'll be perhaps the 31 where they allow it. The Raiders now in their two-minute offense, of which only 57 seconds is left, take over. Their field positions today have not been very advantageous for their various offensive takeovers, respectively their own 31, their own 13, their own 20, their own 22, and again, their own 31. Miami's possessions began on the Miami 48, the Miami 20, the Oakland 44, and the Miami 37. So Miami has had a field position advantage most of the day. Branch wide to the left. They bring the linebacker ball out there in the orange defense to help cover him. Hand off to Hubbard now. Hubbard cruises off right tackle, slowed by Mathis, and he breaks out of his grasp and gets up to the 37 before it's finally Ben Herder to pin him. Along with Manny Fernandez, the clock running, 45 seconds. Raiders have all timeouts left. Stabler uses one right now. Against a team like Miami right now, they're in a real pretty tough situation. Not quite enough time to wedge that thing down uh, to get a real good shot at a field goal. But still, there is time uh, if you make the right play. But it has to come off much more quickly and with fewer areas for error. Well, I noticed that uh, John Bell opened uh, right tackle. Seems to be limping just a little bit as he got up from that play. Now, Bell, a couple of weeks ago, had an ankle problem, uh, which he's recovered from fairly well. But he was limping just a little bit. He's staying in the game, so apparently it's okay. You make a good point. Uh, the two-minute drill against a team like Miami becomes a very, very difficult thing. They're disciplined in the secondary, which means they've stayed in the places where they're supposed to stay. They sometimes fight their instincts to go to a different area, and they remain very tight in their coverage. So I don't think you'll see Oakland be able to move the ball quite as well as they did, for instance, in that game against Cincinnati. Now the Raiders back to the huddle. The line of scrimmage is the Oakland 38. The Dolphins continue in their orange defense with three rushers, and they bring the, the extra linebacker ball out on Branch's side each time. Here's Smith in motion to the right, leaving Hubbard behind Stabler. Stabler back to pass. Got time. Drills one down the middle. Freddie's got it. Politic off the 50, and he's knocked out at the 46. Hit there by Mike Colin and Nick Guanacani. Timeout called 32 seconds. Now the Raiders have only one more timeout left. Let's look at Blanda for the year. Blanda, from the field goal standpoint, was 11 for 17 in the regular season. His longest was 49. George hit two out of five beyond the 40 range. He hit one from 41, one from 49. So if he were to have to go long, his percentage on the season was a little bit better than that of your premium in the long ranges. Kenny's problem now with one timeout remaining is to attempt to get some yardage without using that timeout, and that obviously means something over to the sidelines where the receiver might can go out of bounds. But the thing is, too, the Miami defense knows that as well as you and I, Scotty, and they, they play that pretty tough. In fact, you'll recall in the great Cincinnati comeback, Saber had a little more time on his side, and the sidelines were so well covered by the Cincinnati defense that he came down the middle to Moore on two big catches, risking the clock running in order to get bigger chunks of yardage for a man was in a rather open area. He could go down the middle now if Oakland has made the decision to go for the field goal. If he sees something open down the middle deep enough, they might could go that way and then use that one timeout before the kick. 32 seconds left. 10-7 Miami. We're in the late second quarter. Now it's a slot to the left. Branch inside Boletnikov. Back goes Stabler to pass. He looks. Comes back to the right with a pass. It's complete and he gets out of bounds. Four. Gets out on the 37 in front of Matheson. Four ran a short pattern after... They had Hubbard deep, they had Charlie Smith deep, they had Boletnikov deep. Now with 25 seconds left to go, after the ex-Stanford Stars grab, the Raiders on the 37, that means that would be a 55-yard field goal attempt. That's not a good percentage, needless to say. So they need more yardage here in the time, 25 seconds. Vanizak comes into the backfield, replacing Hubbard. Excuse me, Bill, the key now would be to get one more. Nine, eight... Even a seven-yard pickup out of bounds. You still would have one timeout and about 20 seconds left on the clock. They're in good shape right now. They can get one more completion and go out of bounds. Branch to the left. Well, let me cop to the right. Stabler back. Sets up. Big rush this time. He's troubled and he's dropped at the 44-yard line. Everybody was covered, and Kenny had not enough time to have a real second look as Dan Herter and Stanfield converged on him. 
Larry Ball is in again on the orange defense as they set now to defend the Ra- against the Raiders. Three rushers. They didn't take the timeout. The clock now running back is Stabler to pass. Lays it off to the right to Smith at the 45. Heads for the sideline. Bumps out at the 41. I had thought they'd taken a timeout. I looked up and the clock was stopped. And the officials stopped the clock while everybody was getting back. The Raiders pretty much stymied here now at the 40. They put it on the 40. And what do we got? Great guys coming in the punt. It's fourth down. The ball on the 40. 10 to 7, Miami leading. Six seconds remaining, second quarter. In Detroit, in the exhibition season, this very same situation, the up back, Mark Van Egan took a direct snap from center and went 63 yards to a touchdown. Van Egan is the up blocking back again. Dave Dalby over the ball, just in case it should be deceptive. Dolphin didn't drop anybody back. Guy takes a snap and he kicks it. He aims one for the right coffin corner, but it drifts farther in from the sideline, goes into the end zone, and with no time left, the ball is just down by the uh, Raiders. Harold Hart as the gun sounds, ending the first half of play, and the scoreboard shows at halftime in the AFC first round playoff battle, Miami 10, Oakland 7. Harold Hyde on the return of Gary Yapremian's kickoff. The Raiders moving from our left to our right, receiving to start the second half, trailing 10-7. They have not led. Henry Stuckey made the stop that time. And so it'll be first and 10 Oakland. Still the Miami Dolphins, during the 14-game regular season, gave up progressively more points as the game wore on. In the first period, they gave up 31. This is total for the year. Then 50 in the second period, 57 in the third, and 78 in the fourth quarter of their games. They marked this ball at approximately the open 28 as Branch slots right inside Boletnikov. Play fake. Stabler on a broken play, I think, falls down at the 26. He went back as if to hand to Hubbard, who just went right by him. Jenny kept the ball and tried to get back to the line of scrimmage, but lost two yards. Not an auspicious way to begin the second half of play. Raider receivers, Boletnikov caught three, Charlie Smith two, Hubbard and Moore one each, and Branch one. Their big completion was to Smith, and that was in the books as 31. I said 32 yards at the time of the play, and it was between the 31 and 32-yard line. They credited 31 yards. Miami, the orange defense, ball is in, lines up on the left side. Stabler gets to Davis, sends him to the left. Now trying to sweep behind up, Chuck cuts behind the block, shooting past the 30. He's up to the 35 and is still on his feet when the play is blown dead with a host of Dolphins tugging and grabbing at him. Davis, with a good move, made a full spin that time as he cut up behind the upshaw block. Bob Moore was out on that side also. Don Shula, who's been through the mill so many times, looking on from the Dolphins' sideline. These Miami teams, 8-2 and two in playoffs. And, of course, they've won three in a row in each of the last two years to win the two Super Bowl titles back-to-back. Stabler coming up to an important third and four. He's back to pass. Good blocking. He rifles one. The Grants can't hold. It's broken up by Colin, who came up in the zone over the middle at the 40-yard line and jolted Cliff just as he tried to get a handle on the ball. Good defense. Dolphins come up with that big play, and Guy comes in to punt. In the first half, Guy punted three times for an average of 41. Seipel of the Dolphins three times, 31.7 the average. Dropping back deep now will be Nat Moore, a rookie from Florida on the 20-yard line. He's returned nine punts this year for an average of 15 per kick. Now Babb and Anderson will be the short backs at the 40. Guy's kicking the line of scrimmages at the Oakland 35. Dave Dalby snaps it. Guy gets into the punt and drills one rather well, but not too high. Taken by Moore in the 21. Starts to the right after hesitation. He's missed by Hudson, who may have been clipped. He comes back and is dropped at the 21. No flag went down. Harold Hart got him after Hudson. It looked like Hudson might have gotten clipped by Benny Malone on that play, but they didn't call it. And uh, the effort by Hudson, which sent Moore to the right, drove him into the arms of Hart. 44-yard punt by Guy. All right, the Dolphins. This is the second deepest uh, in their own territory that they've taken over the football. More to the left with Warfield in the slot with Zonka and Benny Malone in the backs. Hand off to Zonka. Gets a block from Malone. Comes back to the inside and he's stopped by Irons. 
He got to about the 24, though. Zonka wanted to go outside the tackle. Monty Johnson is in on the orange defense, prevented that. And Zonka, in trying to adjust, was brought down by Irons inside. So it'll be second down and seven. Zonka still got three. Here's Langer to the ball at center. Raiders keep Art Toms over the center. He's been that way most of the day. Monty Johnson lines up on the left side. Now the Dolphins have uh, Warfield only a couple of yards out to the left. They give to Zonka, and he smashes over the right side. He's thrown back from the 27, where his forward progress was. Monty Johnson, the obvious man, but he had a lot of help down below from Toms and Sistrunk. We really jammed him pretty well. It'll be third down and about four and a half as Vantage, the tight end, comes in for Marv Fleming. Fleming, incidentally, wears a diamond in his left ear. I didn't get that clarified, Scotty, whether he wears it in the game or not. I doubt it. I don't know. I'll tell you what he's wearing in the other ear, though, is a little bit of Jack Tatum's words because on two plays ago, Tatum went after Fleming and he was sticking that finger right in his face and letting him know the next time, whatever it was he did, that Jack would retaliate. Warfield to the left, more to the right. A big third down four play for the Dolphins now. Back he goes. Both backs in the block. Greasy fires down the middle. Set it down. A great play by Connors. He was going for Mandich at the 40. His clutch receiver in these situations. George Atkinson was with him, but it was Connors who made the beautiful diving deflection of the pass. They really wanted that. When they kept those backs in, let Greasy get a good look at Mandich. So it'll be Seiple in the punt. Now, he's not a long punter. He's a good high hanger. Average is only 38-plus on the year. The deep man, Ron Smith. The short men are Hudson and Hart at the 50. The line of scrimmage, Miami's 28. And the boot, it's high, not very deep, hanging. Good coverage. Smith takes it on the 38. And he can't get going. As at the 40-yard line, three of the Dolphins were down there. The first one there was Lloyd Mumford, followed by Ed Newman, and then Langer himself, the center. Good coverage. Mumford is the captain, of course, of the Dolphins special team. The Raiders take over at their 40. Time out on the field. 11.43 left in the third quarter. The scoreboard showing Miami 10, Oakland 7. Now with the sun beaming brightly on about half of the field, which is still not shaded by the western rim of the Coliseum, the Raiders have their best takeover field for, uh, position of the day on their own 40. Well, then they caught to the left with Branch slotted out there. Stabler, play fakes, back to pass with time to throw. He fires one at Fred Scott at the 45, down to the 40. He's hit, and he's dropped at that point. I thought he'd fumble for a moment, but he held on. Not down by Mike Cole the linebacker with Curtis Johnson. Politnikoff was all alone under that zone in that area. As they were playing deep for Branch, Fred cut his pattern off short to leave him plenty of receiving room. And, Bill, we had talked here at times, Kenny during the season might be a little lazy on those throws, but not in this game and not on that one. He really pegged that. I've never seen him throw that ball with more velocity than he did that time. Larry Ball comes in. Miami goes to the orange with three rushers. Ball lines up on the left side. Mathis and the other linebacker on the outside goes to the right. Speaking defensively, Saber in a straight drop back. Gets the blocking up in the pocket. Going deep to Valetnikov down the right side with Foley. Foley backs it into the air. Valetnikov makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. Holy Toledo, what a play. Foley and Valetnikov between the five and the goal line went up. Foley got a piece of the ball. It caromed into the end zone. Valetnikov followed it and caught it, but was ruled to have been out of bounds on the play. Madden is berating the official... Yeah. perhaps six inches of the front part of his left foot out of bounds. We looked at that on the replay. It was an excellent call. It was one which if you didn't have the replay advantage, you'd probably beef about. Fred is out. Frank Pitts, the veteran, is in. Wide to the left. Branch in the slot, second and ten. Here's Davis now. Scooters for the hole and gets to the 38 over the left side. Upended by Fernandez and Mike Cohen. Put the ball on the 37. What a play that would have been had Fred been able to keep that left foot six inches further in, but it was impossible. Larry Ball comes out, and they bring in an extra defensive back this time with Stuckey. Henry Stuckey is back in the game. Five defensive backs. Manizek is in for Hubbard for the Raiders. Branch to the left, Belenikov to the right. We're third and seven. Big play. 
Davis in motion to the right with his shoulder pad hanging out. Back to Stabler. Looks. He throws underneath to Moore. Moore to 35. Tripped up. Dimes. Did he get the first down? I don't know. He was stopped by Stuckey. He was scrambling on his elbows, trying for that yardage. One of Connie is over there. Madden is right over the ball, which is near this near western sideline. He's making sure nobody fudges an inch on it. Juan Acanti was there with Stuckey to make the stop. They're going to bring the chain gang in from the opposite side of the field. There's a very pivotal measurement. 10-7 Miami. A lot of time left in this football game. 9.56 to go in the third quarter. Can't see the measurement at all here. It's the first down. Bob Moore with a scrambling, clawing effort after making that catch in the short pattern to the right sideline. Marvin Hubbard getting some attention on the side from Dr. Rosenfeld, or at least standing with him. Dr. Reedy is there, too. They're working, looks like, on Marv's left wrist down underneath. Down below us here by the Raider bench. First and 10 at the 30-yard line of the Miami Dolphins. The Raiders scored from 31 yards on a perfectly played pass by Stabler to Charlie Smith in the second quarter. Play fake. Stabler back. Got time. Hesitates. Looks. Good coverage. An incomplete pass intended for Boletnikov, who was picked up in the middle at the 20 by Colin. And Stabler missed on the, pa- on the play as Colin did a good job that time. Boy, these Dolphins can cover you. They can really cover you. Jenny had great blocking that time, but couldn't find the open man because there wasn't such animal out there. I'll tell you, he's putting a lot of heat on the Dolphins, Bill, and they are very, very good back there, but he's passing on first down. This drive started at the Raider 40. He went to Boletnikov on first down, 420. The next time it came up first down, he passed. That time on first down, he passed. So he's got these Dolphins thinking pass. Dolphins in the orange, slot right. Smith with Banizak in the backfield. Banizak plays his off right tackle, dives down to the 20-yard line. He's hit there by ball. Banizak on a fast start. And Scotty, you and I were talking about that early. George Beeler led very well that time. Hubbard has not seemed to start rather quickly today, and Banizak's always been a quick starter off the ball, and that may be the difference here. And, of course, on that play, it was it was exactly that. Pete's quick start. Marv, although very strong runner today, not really that quick off the ball as he usually is. Now, maybe he's got a little bit of a leg problem we aren't aware of, but he was not really quick off the ball. They bring the four rushers in. Hines replaces ball. The Raiders come up about a half yard short of the first down there. And now it's Davis and Vanazak in the backfield, two quick starters. It's third and short. Hand off to Davis. Follows Vanazak. Two, he's down to the 15. Up in at the 12-yard line. Hit by Babb in the backfield. And Anderson and the Raiders now moving the football and moving the Dolphins more importantly. The ball on the 18 where it's marked. First and 10 open. Iris Davis has ripped for 52 yards and eight carries. At halftime, Clarence had had 32 in five carries, so he's peeled off 20 yards and three tries in this third quarter. Stuckey is in. They have five defensive backs. Grants to the left, Boletnikov to the right. Stabler back on a straight drop back, looking to the end zone, but he throws underneath, and Moore can't hold it at the 10-yard line. Moore slanting out underneath at the 10. Might have led him a little bit too far, but it's one that Bob normally would have had. So it'll be second and 10. That would have been a nice big catch for the Raiders because he would have had perhaps to the five-yard line before anybody could really nail it. Oakland several times during the year in this field position down inside the opponent's 15 have had a very, very effective tight end passing game. That play, Moore was wide open to throw a little bit off, and Bobby should have probably had that. The ball on the 13, second and 10. Stabler back, looks left, throws right, Boletnikov, a leaping catch, touchdown open! Holy Toledo! Frank Boletnikov just made a miracle catch with Tim Foley all over him. Good job of looking off the defense. But the ball, which was actually deflected once off Boletnikov's hand when Foley contested it and the right sideline in the end zone was grabbed back by Fred as Foley chipped his pressure on, landed on top of him. And now Blanda, the conversion try is up. It is. Good. And for the first time, the Oakland Raiders win the Miami Dolphins. I'm out on the field. 8.05 left. We're in the third quarter. Scoreboard shows Oakland 14, Miami 10. (laughs) 
Nat Moore and Hubert Ginn are back to await the Jokovinko kickoff as George will kick off from our left to our right. The Raiders have taken the lead on a 13-yard strike from Stabler to Boletnikov as Fred is giving a clinic out here today. And here is the boot. It's a line drive that's kicked sideways, taken by Gain at the 10, up to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, straight ahead, and now by Moore to the 35. I'm sorry, I said Gain. It was Matt Moore. Moore carried out to the 35 before he was finally overhauled by Monty Johnson. And it's a good return to get the Dolphins' decent operating position field-wise. By the way, Fred Belutnikov has caught five of Stabler's 11 completions for 73 yards today. Kenny, 11 for 19. Gracie is three for six as he brings the Dolphins up to the line of scrimmage. Warfield to the left. Nat Moore to the right. Zonka in the backfield with Malone. The handoff to Malone. Skirting wide to the right. Gets a block from Little at the 20, 35, rather, and it goes out of bounds at the 43. Good sweep that time. Larry Little pulling is... He's one of the excellent pulling guards in football and leading Malone around the right side. Benny Malone coming out of Arizona State, a rookie, 5'10", 193. He took over when Mercury Morris continued to have problems with injuries. He's the brother of Art Malone. The Dolphins, who up to this point have confined their running game pretty much inside the tackles, hoping now to spread Oakland's defense a little bit, perhaps weaken up that middle and get Zonka in there for some key ground as they went with Malone to the outside on a sweep. They're second and one right now, and they keep Warfield in tight and put Moore only about a yard out to the right. Now they bring Malone out to the left, leaving Zonka alone in the backfield. And a play fake. Breezy now pulling one out of the bag. He's in trouble. Chased by Horace Jones. Going to the right. He's hemmed in by Monty Johnson who misses him. He's up the right side of the 40 and goes out of bounds with a first down in Oakland territory at the Raider 48-yard line. And Greasy's elusiveness again throws a nemesis for the Raiders. He made a great play last year in a situation in which he seemed to be trapped. Ultimately, his escape in that situation led to a big touchdown for the Dolphins. Now, Monty Johnson, who is, who is not a greatly experienced player, this is his first year with a lot of playing time, committed himself that time, and I'm sure the Raiders staff would rather have had him just contain Greasy and not commit himself. Greasy put that move on him after Monty Moore had made a strong move to him, and that was probably the error. The Raiders were not fooled, however, by the deception of passing on second and short, which often can be a great quarterback coup. Now they're in Raider territory, first down, backs in the eye formation. Greasy gets to Zonka. He rambles off right guard and carries tacklers down to the 40. Zonka, again behind Larry Little that time with Norm Evans assisting, opening the hole. It was finally Sistrunk, the last of the Raiders to join the pack to bring him down. So the Dolphins trailing for the first time, 14-10, responding smartly. Zonka is out. Nottingham is in. Dolphins break their huddle, come up to the ball just outside the 40. Breezy, the cool customer of eight NFL seasons, sends Warfield left against Wilson. More to the right against Thomas. Thomas with the odd defense and the handoff to Benny Malone, who drives for the first time, but he was in motion. I think there's no doubt about it. That's right. The flag fell. Benny Malone, a rookie, a little bit over anxious. Shotty. The pressure of playoff football is something even players who haven't been here but have played time can't realize. Malone, a rookie, has got a couple of hundred-yard games this year. He's filled in admirably for Morris, but there was the anxiety. That's right. Players just don't understand the kind of pressure that comes in a playoff. Even if you've been in the league seven, eight, nine, ten years, if you've not been here, when you do get here, you can feel the pressure. And obviously, this is one of the great strengths of the Miami team, by and large. They've been in so many big games. They're very cool. As you pointed out, Greasy, he's down now by four points, but he's in command. He, he knows exactly what he's doing. Second and seven. Incidentally, Miami's ratio of rushes to passes, 80% rushes, 20 passes today. On the season, they were uh, two to one. Two rushes to every pass. 67% to 33%. Now they split the tight end and back to pass goes uh, Gracie. He looks. He's going deep to man. to two more. Way down the left side. It goes through his hands at the five-yard line. Four got behind Skip Thomas. Or he can fly. And Skip Thomas lost a little bit to him at the five. Moore had the daylight. The ball went through his hands as Greasy put it as much on the money as any man could ever hope to do. He had three men out wide at the outset of that play. A little bit different set than he showed. 
course, what they like to do normally with Warfield is get you in that one-on-one situation. Moore, who's had a tremendous year for the Dolphins, coming in as a rookie, and they had people injured. He's doing a great job, but the Greasy is very, very good at forcing you into that kind of a defense. Oakland now making a change. Johnson coming out, and Jimmy Warren going in as a fifth defensive back. Three rushers, three linebackers, five defensive backs. It's third and seven. Big play again. Jim Langer over the ball. They bring more wide to the left with Warfield in the slot. The backs are Chick and Nottingham. Back pedaling is Greasy into the pocket. He looks. He's got time. He's going deep up the right side. Villapiano covering and called for pass interference. The ball was thrown five yards away from the receiver. Kick. Villapiano had him covered all the way up the right sideline. The flag fell for pass interference at the 15. Villapiano protesting his cause to no avail. I'd like to see the replay on that. I'm not saying I doubt it. It's purely that it was on the far side of the field from us. And difficult to really see how the contact came. Those watching on television see Villapiano following and covering. He did push with the right hand. It was a token push, but I think technically it was a proper call. It's a kind of a, the kind of a play, Scotty, that if it's not called, a lot of people aren't surprised. Yeah, obviously, Bill. You get, as you say, and described very well, it was a token push. Now, you get a lot of pushing like that on almost any play when people are running those ups. Raiders have been penalized 59 yards to Miami's 15, and there could be the pivotal play of the game. That penalty put the Dolphins on the Oakland 16. The fans boo. The Dolphins walk away from the huddle. Greasy going to make sure he's going to be heard. Dan Connors is over talking to the referee. I'm not sure. The Dolphins brought him. They brought Tom Wickard off the field. Wickard is a special teams man and a backup offensive tackle. He's walking over here to this side and coming to go into the locker room for some reason. And apparently there was a protest, but he went off the field the wrong way. That's right. I think Dan Connor's looking for some kind of an edge, a penalty against the Dolphins. Saw, saw the guy walking off and went up to the official and said he came off the wrong side. I don't think he did. I think he went around the field and Dan saw him coming off this side. Now the fans set up the chorus. And the Raider defense really on the spot now. Greasy operating on the open 16, trailing by four. Greasy back into the pocket, back settling. Here comes a rush. He rifles it. A man falls all along. Warfield makes the catch for a touchdown for Miami. Falling was Nehemiah Wilson as Warfield made his corner pattern move into the deep left corner of the end zone. All Greasy had to do is keep from falling down or having a heart attack. He could have thrown the ball into the air anywhere in an area of 8 or 10 yards, and Warfield could have run under it, and Greasy lobbed it up to make sure that he gave him room. And so, Paul Warfield, the man who so often gets free to break the heart of opponents, did so this time when Wilson slipped on the cut. And now the Dolphins lead it 16 to 14. Your premium trying to make it a three-point lead. Snap, the spot. The kick is blocked. Bob Hudson, I believe, blocks it from the right wing. The kick is blocked. We'll check on the identity for sure. It looks like Hudson. Time is out on the field. 6.38 to go, third quarter. Scoreboard shows Miami 16, Oakland 14. The Premier will kick off now. The official credit has gone to Bubba Smith, who had the push on up the middle on that conversion. Hudson crossed right in front of Bubba, and as we had the binoculars on it, it appeared it was Hudson. But we've, that's a mistake that's easily made up here. I've done it before when Bubba got one, and I thought it was the wingman who got it. Here's the kickoff now by Euphemian. Ron Smith waiting stationary. Takes it on the five. Got to the 15. He's at the 20. Here's to the left. Breaks through a hole, and then it's dropped at the 32. There was daylight beckoning for Ron Smith until he was suddenly cut down by Lloyd Mumford. Shula looks a little concerned that there was that much hole there. And Mumford saved the bacon. So the Raiders have good field position, not great but good, at the 32-yard line, their territory. The margin of difference now is two points. Where if it comes down to that sort of a, an increment, the Raiders might be able to win with a field goal. Stabler back to pass. Setting up all the time in the world. He fires one, it's broken up. Ranch was hammered hard by Plenacati at the 47. The fans hollering for the interference call, but Plenacati, though he hit him hard, hit him legally, the officials said. Stabler getting sensational pass cutting, protection. I'm sorry, Scotty, go ahead. I said Stabler's been getting super pass protection. He had all the time in the world. 
I'll tell you what, if there was a penalty on this replay, it should have gone against Branch, to be quite honest with you. Cliff had to come back, and, and in order to come back to the ball, he had to try to get around Bonacati, and he initiated the contact. Now to the left, Zaletnikov with Branch in the slot. We're second and ten. Staber throwing that time on first down. He gets to Davis. Davis runs into trouble off the left side and is buried. He made almost nothing. Stanfill and Fernandez really cracking through as the Dolphins now taking the lead. Also find their defense. Containing the Raiders, Sabre had the Dolphin defenders really off balance in the last drive. Hubbard comes out now. Van is in for Marv. Otto over the ball. Charlie Smith is in for Clarence Davis. Saber going to pass. He's back. He's looking. He's in trouble. He's blocked by Larry Ball. Back on the 22-yard line. Saber suffers a sacking of the Raiders. Run into all sorts of trouble with a Dolphin defense that is suddenly stabilized. Miami leading 16-14 as Guy comes in with a punting team. The early part of this second half, Oakland took the momentum. They drove for that touchdown, but the Dolphins came back with one, aided tremendously by that pass interference call against Philip Piano. And they, when they went to the lead, now their defense knows they have to protect it. So they got a lift from that score. Now it's up to Oakland to try and get that momentum back. Dolphins dropped Matt Moore deep on his own 30. And uh, here's the kick, and a slice by Ray Guy, and it's coming up to midfield. It hits, bounds down the right sideline, a great big break for the Raiders, and goes out of bounds on the 41. Anderson couldn't field it. Guy really hit the ball poorly. The last time he sliced one, not so badly, but this time it came off the side of the foot. And he got the break on the roll, however. So it'll be first and ten, but again the Dolphins with good operating position on their own 41. Only about a 36-yard punt for Guy. The Raiders trailing here, 16-14, after taking the lead in the early third quarter. Zock is in the backfield with Malone as Warfield splits left, and to the right is the flanker, Nat Moore. Raiders Villapiano faking a blitz up the line of scrimmage. The handoff now goes to Moore, slanting across. He's cartwheeled down at the 46-yard line by Atkinson, uh, by Malone, if I said Moore. Excuse me. I knew it wasn't more. I knew I was watching, just couldn't say it. Benny Malone, number 32. They put the ball in the 45 rather than the 46 where he appeared to land. It's second down, however, and five and a half. Call it six yards. Flying all over the ball. Warfield splitting left. Moore out to the right. Hand off again to Malone, and Malone is grabbed by uh, the Raiders defender at the 47. Otis Sistrunk, or was it? No, it was Irons. Irons jammed in from the right side. At first, I thought it was Gerald, and I thought, well, he shouldn't have been there by all rights, but he made a whale of a move to get there and stopped him on the 47. It's third and uh, four. They've got the two-point lead, Bill, giving Zonka a little bit of a rest. They know they got the fourth quarter to go, and from the looks of the scoreboard and the tempo of the game, that's going to be a barn burner. Very intelligent team. They're letting Malone carry a little bit and resting Zonka. Again, Warfield to the left. Out to the right is uh, Moore, and they've got Mandich in a tight end on the left side. They go to him a lot in these situations. Kick is also in the backfield. Back is Gracie, setting up deep. But comes back. He has beat the football because Jones gets there. Along with another Raider at the 37, Otis Sistrunk. And you can credit the defensive coverage on that one. They had Chick and Manny Chan, who are both good receivers. The Raiders had everybody blanketed. Breezy had a lot of time. Then he had to try to sidestep to look for somebody. And no longer could his men protect it. As Jones from Greasy's own left and Sistrunk from the right hemmed him in. Now Seifel into punt. Ron Smith back on the 22. He's a great return man in his own right. He'd like to break the big one here today. Here's the snap. And Seifel kicks one. But Smith has to go to his left four. Takes it, drops it, picks it up immediately to 25 and goes down at the 29. Good coverage down there that time. Langer was down again along with Mumford and Nottingham. Stifle doesn't kick him long, but he hangs it just, just enough so his coverage people can get down. And then Ron Smith's rhythm was broken. The ball popped out of his hand, bounded right in front of him. He got it right back. So the Raiders get the football back with a quick containment of the Dolphin offense. Now Stable will try to get it rolling again. 
He had the rhythm in that drive early in the third quarter. Slotting right, branch inside Boletnikov. Fred has caught five balls today. Sabler giving to Hubbard. Hubbard rumbles off left tackle and has dropped at about the 35. Matheson hit him down low, along with Poland. The defensive secondary, they have Henry Stuckey at right corner for Curtis Johnson on this series. He was in earlier as a fifth bat. Charlie Babb is in for Jake Scott, has been since the first quarter, and it's fully the left corner, and then Anderson is strong safety. Hubbard made five and a half to six, second down. Saber on a play fake, back to pass. Here comes the rush. He steps to the left. He got free. He got time, but he can't find anybody. Runs up the left side, first down. Goes out of bounds on the 39. Good intelligent move that time, as Kenny kept looking all the time. But as it didn't develop, he edged more and more to the open edge of the field, where Stanfield finally forced him out. And Eugene Upshaw, a great offensive guy, and a guy who uses his head as well as his body. When he saw Kenny in trouble, he looked around for somebody to block, and he blocked the Dolphin, which allowed Kenny to make that first down. Kenny's 11 for 20 today. Barely lost out to Kenny Anderson of Cincinnati in the AFC passing championship statistics for the year. Hubbard is out. Banizak is in with Davis in the backfield. There's the slot to the left. Branch inside. Bolitnikov outside. Hand off to Banizak, and he's hit at the line of scrimmage, and he may have gotten a yard and no more, and the play was made by Buena County, the middle linebacker. Nice knife the cross quickly. Nick in his 13th year out of Notre Dame, starting his career with the Patriots, and then coming to Miami at the time of the Shula arrival. 16-14 Miami. It would have been 17, but Bubba Smith blocked the conversion after the last Dolphin touchdown. Breezy has thrown a touchdown pass today, and Stabler has struck for a pair. Slot left. Stabler giving to Davis, sends him wide to the left, and he's stacked up and thrown for a loss back at the 37-yard line. They rode over Moore and uh, Banizak both as they tried to lead the blocking. Matheson made the tackle. The Miami defense is really stiffened here. And we'll pause 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Oakland Raiders Football Network. Now it's third and 12, and they go to the orange defense now. Saber back, setting up. He's in trouble. Side steps, looks to the left. He's got an open field. He's going to run. He's at the 40. Comes back to the middle. Who is he creamed at the 43? He was heading back to the middle to try to get up toward midfield when Matheson really blasted it. And Stabler, not finding people open here, is having to run. But now it's fourth down, and Guy will come in to punt. So we evolved into a bit of a punting and defensive duel here. Well, that Miami secondary has been very effective in closing off the Raider patterns. Moore is a deep man. Shallow. You've got Babb and Anderson. Guy takes a snap. The boot is away. It's a low, hard-driven line drive, but could be returnable. Moore takes it on the 14. Gets to the left of the 20. Runs into his own man. Falls down. He's dropped at the 19-yard line. He ran into Nottingham, who's trying to block for him. That allowed Dennery and Johnson and the Raiders to get down and get him. Forty-three yard punt by Guys. Dolphins take over now. They lead 16-14 with only 30 seconds of life remaining to the third quarter. Minnesota blasted the Cardinals in the second half after the game was tied today. They broke out of that 7-7 tie and took an edge over St. Louis and then really forced them to do what they wanted to do in Minnesota in that NFC playoff. Jock and Malone in the backfield of the I formation. Warfield comes left, more to the right. Breezy gives to Zonka, sends him ripping up at right guard across the 25 to the 30. He's got a first down. Tatum hit him. He kept rolling on and finally was dropped by uh, Irons at the 34, 33 and a half is where they're putting it. Zonka, one of his best runs of the day. He got 15 on that one. And now Oakland having the problem, number one, of containment, number two, of moving the ball themselves. Larry Little, a great guard. Okay, Bill, there's the gun. There's the gun sounding the end of the third quarter, and the scoreboard shows Miami 16, Oakland 14. It's the fourth quarter, Miami moving from our left to our right as we view the action here. The Dolphins are first and 10. 34-yard line, their own territory. The Raiders need that big defensive play. 
Warfield to the left. To the right is more quick pitch to the right side of Malone, turning the corner. He's got running room at the 35. Hammered at the 40 and goes down fine to the 41-yard line. Coming up to make the play was I was uh, Monty Johnson. Fleming and Little were out in front, leading the blocking, pulling out. And the Dolphins are making big first down yardage again. They did it in the first quarter. The Raiders shut that down in the second and early third quarters. Oakland in the orange defense with a rushing group up front. It's just drunk and Toms and Horace Jones. Tony Klein has not played today. Now they line up Warfield in tight. They send Malone out to the left. More to the right. Both close flanked on second and two. It's a quarterback's dream situation. But he gets the Zonka. Gets the first down with a bull-like rush up the middle of the 46-yard line. Jones made the stop. And so, Miami moving the football, controlling the clock, leading by two. Right now, they're doing the thing that they most like to do. This is their game. They're not really a team that likes to pass. If they can get out in front and just give it to their great backs and let that offensive line open holes, they're happy to do that. They put the ball on the 45 for that first down. Now Warfield goes left. To the right is more. The Raider corner is head and head with those two wide receivers. Greasy dropping back to pass. Looks, fires quickly up the left side. Moore makes the catch and gets... Check it. Warfield makes the catch and gets out of bounds on the 36. The Raiders had a rotating zone that time, and he went right into the area after he left Wilson, or Wilson left him, and before Atkinson rotated to him. And he made the catch and got out of, uh, out of bounds on the 40... Make it the 36. 36-yard line. Scotty had mentioned the Dolphins don't like to throw except on their terms, and they felt it was the right time. It's only the ninth pass today by Greasy. He's completed five. It's first and ten. He keeps Warfield in sight on the left side again. Now pitch goes to Malone, circling the right side. Gets a block from Little. Now he cuts upfield to the 32-yard line where he's knocked down on the play by Sistrunk. Little and Fleming out in front again. Both excellent blockers in those situations. And the Dolphins get almost five. It'll be second down and five and a half. Bubba coming in for the Raiders now. And Johnson comes out. Raiders have four rushers. Oakland has lost only once in six playoff games in their own bailiwick here. And that was that Kansas City loss when LaMonica had the injured hand. Slot left. Greasy brings more in motion from left to right. Thomas follows him across. The handoff to Zonka, and he rumbles over left side of the 28-yard line. Irons making the stop for the Raiders, along with uh, Horace Jones. Kuchenberg, the left guard, was the blocking key that time. It'll be third down on the 33. Third and three. It's important to the Raiders, Scotty, that they curtail this drive to no more than three points for the Dolphins. They get an eight-point lead, then they've got themselves a good situation. Warfield to the left, more to the right. Banger over the ball. Long count by Greasy. Now he takes it, drops straight back. He looks, he throws to Warfield and drops the ball on the 20-yard line. He had some help. He had some help from Nehemiah Wilson that time, who hit him hard at the moment of contact on that short out pattern. Scotty points out that Warfield appeared to take his eye off the ball for whatever reason. And now, with a ball on the 28-yard line, they're going to attempt a field goal from the 36. This is a 46-yard attempt. Your premium has not made one this long this year. Ball will spot. The spot, the kick on the way. It is good. Carol Yapremian, his longest field goal in the year, 46 yards. And time is out on the field with 11.50 to go in the ball game. Scoreboard showing Miami 19, Oakland 14. Now the Raiders, and now the Raiders need either a touchdown or a pair of field goals to take the lead from Miami, even if Miami doesn't score. And he gets one high but not deep. Hart waits under it at the 10. Comes out to the 15, to the 20, to the 25, but finds the lane, breaks the tackle at the 30, drives up to the 38-yard line. Nottingham is there, along with Larry Ball and Ed Newman, to make the stop. 
Hart with a good return. The Raiders ready to operate, but in their last two possessions, they have not been able to get it going. After the one drive in the early third quarter that took them to the touchdown and the lead. More and more, that pass interference penalty against Villapiano looms as, and this is an overused phrase, but the pivotal or turning point of this football game. Melendikoff wide to the right. Davis comes in motion to the left. Hubbard fears off from one tackler, runs into three more, and gets only a yard to the 39. Penetrating was Matheson from the linebacking spot, making Hubbard adjust his intended direction, and Stanfield made the stop. Second and nine. So now the Raiders, unlike the Dolphins, not making yardage on first down, meaning the heat is on them on second and third. Branch to the left, Poletnikov to the right. That way it's tough to keep defenders off balance. Saber, got straight back, sets up and throws, and he's got it incomplete. I thought he had the completion as Poletnikov was stripped of the ball at the moment of reception by Mumford just across the 50. By uh, Foley, not Mumford, just across the 50-yard line. There it is, Scotty, in the third quarter, first down plays. Well, not just in the third quarter, but for the game. Miami, 17 first downs, 111 yards, average 6.5. Oakland, 19 first downs, 75 yards, average 3.1. Branch to the left, but let me cop to the right. Third and long, almost 10. Saber back. Sets up a screen to Davis. Davis, 35-40. Hesitates, runs in Anderson, who stops him. Anderson stops him at the 47, two yards short of the first down. And so Ray Guy comes on with a punting team. Davis couldn't get quite enough room to make the burst. A grim, tough struggle. Made all the more difficult for the Raiders today. When 15 seconds after the game started, they were looking at a 7-0 deficit. Dick Anderson drops back deep, along with Matt Moore. And Babb is deep. Guy takes a snap. Lost a punt high and deep. Moore waiting for it. He'll let it bounce at the 11. Raiders trying to cover it at the 5. It is down by a Raider on the right at about the one-yard line. And then it squirts away and into the end zone. Harold Hart was down after it. It bounded on into the end zone out of his grasp as the Raiders and Dolphins swarmed around it. It's rolled to be on the one-yard line. A hustling effort. The ball took a goalward bounce. And the Raiders' heart got there before the Dolphins could block him off and let it go into the end zone. Time out on the field. 10-11 left to go. Scoreboard showing Miami 19, Oakland 14. We've got a raging argument between John Madden and the officials. The officials, after we cut away, indicated they had ruled that somehow Oakland down that ball in the end zone. And they're ruling it hard after he juggled it, picked it up and established possession in the end zone rather than on the one-yard line, which had originally been marked by the referee. It's ruled a touchback at the 20. Madden has been debating volubly on the sideline with Ben Tompkins, but to no avail. And now the Dolphins operate from the 20. And it appears on the replay that the call was correct. If indeed Hart had possession. Now that's the question. How much possession did he have? He had his hands on it. Now the Dolphins go to Howard Twilley, the veteran move man, in place of Moore and one wide receiver. Very sure-handed. Warfield at the other. Zonka off left tackle to the 25. Knocked down by Irons at the 26. And there's a six-yard gain on first down again. That's the name of the game for the Dolphins. Oakland's in big trouble now, Bill, because the Dolphins in the last two series have been able to do what they do best, as you pointed out, and that's maintain ball control. Oakland down by five points, under ten minutes to go now in a ball game, and the Dolphins looking very, very strong at this juncture. Warfield to the left, in the slot is Twilly again. Second and four. Twilly comes back in motion to the right. Give the ball here to Malone. Follows Zonka through, and he gets to the 28. Over the right guard position. Villapiano made the stop. It'll be third and two from all appearances. Maybe a little less, depending on where they mark the football. Twilly is one of the two original Dolphins. Zonka today has averaged 4.6 yards per carry. Malone, 4.8. Warfield goes out. Warfield. 
Mandich is in. So we'll have double tight ends. Third and two. Twilly about a yard off the right side. Funding it right in. Mandich at left. Hand off to Zonka. Zonka first down to the 31-yard line. He was filled by Jones but kept plowing ahead. And moving out was Kuchenberg to lead the way. And so the Dolphins keep doing it. And the time shows 8.30. And overhead, some blue sky, some clouds, all the fog area has dissipated. The Raiders' skies aren't particularly bright as they trail by five. Uh, Mercury Morris watches from the bench where he's been all day and a lot of the year. But Benny Malone has done well in his stead. Now, slot right with Warfield back in. Back to the I formation. They send Warfield in motion back to the left, followed across by Wilson. Hand off to Zaka, busting the middle to the 34-yard line. Tom submarines the play. Norm Evans, the right tackle, was the blocking lead on that. Second down and uh, about eight. He made only a pair. The line of scrimmage is a 31 and a half. They mark it to the 34. About, eight and a, about seven and a half to go. One of the marks of the Dolphin team is their few mistakes, Bill. Oakland needs to break down an interception or a fumble, but the Dolphins just don't seem to make those kind of mistakes in big games. 7.30 to go. Long count by Greasy. That uses time, too. Back into the pocket he goes. Sets up. Looks to Warfield. Throws. He's got a completion at the 45. First down. He's knocked out of bounds by Wilson. Warfield breaking the pattern off in front of Nehemiah. You've got to protect against his threat to go deep. He'll drive you off that line a little bit and then make his break to the side. Greasy now 6 for 11 on the day. Warfield 3 of the 6 receptions. Nottingham plot 1, kick 1, and more 1. Matt Moore, though, set the tempo and the tone for the day. Put the Raiders behind at the start with a kickoff return of 89 yards to open the game. Warfield to the left and Twilly to the right. Here's the handoff to Zonka. Didn't get a good start, but he kind of climbed the mountain of players and might have clawed out a couple of yards over the middle. Tom stacked up the blocking down low. 7.05 and counting. Miami leads 19-14. On the postgame show immediately after the game ends, Scotty Sterling will have his survey and summary of this game. A rehash of the St. Louis loss to Minnesota today. A look ahead at the playoffs. We'll be in the Raider locker room after his show with our... Locker room show and guest. Warfield to the left, Twilly to the right. Kick is in now, second and eight. Raiders have been holding better on first downs in the last two first down opportunities. Hand off to Zonka, and Zonka in a misdirection is knocked down. Burba made the play. He made almost nothing. It'll be third and eight. Bandage comes in. They go to him a lot in critical situations. That was one of those famed Miami misdirection plays, but the Raiders were waiting for it. Malone is in for kicks. You've got Malone and Zonka in that backfield. This is the kind of a defensive stop now that the Raiders have to have here to force that punt, get their hands on the football. They haven't done much with the ball since the early third quarter when they drove 60 yards and scored to take the lead briefly. Now with Warfield on the left and Footy to the right, the Raiders are in the orange defense here. Third and eight. Greasy gives the ball to Malone. Power sweep to the right. He's got Duncan a little in front. It's a 50 bricks to tackle. He's struck down from behind. Short of the first down on the 47-yard line by a pursuing Otis Sistrunk. So the Dolphins forced to punt as Seiple comes into the ball game. And now the clock shows 5.20 to go. Miami out in front by five. The Raiders must make use of their next possession here. And three will not do it today. They've got to have the big six or a pair of threes. Ron Smith back deep on the 10. Harden Hudson up at the 30. Seiple takes the snap, strides into the punt, hangs one up away from Smith, doing a good job of kicking away from Ron, and it sails out of bounds. The official marks it on the 15-yard line, which would be a boot of 32 yards. But preventing the return, that's twice he's kicked away from Smith. Effectively. Time out on the field. We have 4.54 to go. Scoreboard showing Miami 19, Oakland 14. (laughs) 
Now the Raiders, with the ball marked at the 16, not the 15, ready to go to work. First and 10. Branch to the left, Belichick off to the right. Dolphins in the orange defense, Tabor back, setting up to pass, looks and throws, cut Belichick off, and he goes out of bounds on the 29. Some catch by Fred, right between defenders Matheson and Foley. Double coverage over there, and he got out of bounds with the ball. That's his sixth reception of the day. They mark it at the 28, first and 10 open. Well, when Cincinnati got wiped out a few weeks ago by Miami, Ron Pritchard, the Cincinnati linebacker, says Miami is an execution machine. The Dolphins have been that more and more as the game has worn on since the mid-third quarter. Stabler first and ten back again. Going deep to branch up the left side. Head and head battle. And he makes a diving pass at the 30. He gets up. Nobody's touching. He's at the 20. He's at the 10. Touchdown Raiders. Coliseum is coming apart here. Cliff Branch made a diving catch being covered on the play by Stucky. Stucky was deep behind it. Branch came back, dived, got up because nobody had touched him. And he sprinted 20 more yards to score. 72 yards. Oakland is leading 20 to 19. And now Blandian trying to make it a two point in. Stabler will hold. Low snap. Spot. Kick. Good. And so, the Oakland Raiders, a team that has always had a time bomb hidden in a chip pocket, ready to lay on somebody, got that time bomb exploded that time on the most incredible catch of the year by Cliff Branch of the Raiders. This third-year Oakland Raider, world-class sprinter, 9-3 in the 100, 60 catches this year, 13 touchdowns, just made... Probably the most important catch of his football life. Four minutes and 37 seconds remaining. And the Miami Dolphins, a seasoned team, they've been through it all. They are still not a dead football team, let me remind you of that. Jacobenko ready to kick off. For the record, the Raiders have op- operated 52 plays to 43 for Miami. The first downs are even now at 14 each. Moore is back there along with Ginn, and the kickoff is away to the sideline. Ginn takes it, sent running and go out of bounds at the 10, up at the 20, 25, drives ahead to the 32-yard line. And now comes Ike stopping football. Four minutes and 28 seconds to go. The Dolphins a well-oiled offensive machine now can't be content just to hang on to the football but Scotty what's important and Don Shula knows it three points can win this football game that's right the Raiders have to keep them outside of that field goal range your premium was good today from 46 which was his longest kick of the year now you've got to keep that in mind that is the key thing they've got to play the 50 yard line like the goal line they simply must do that Here's Langer over the ball. Breezy the quarterback. Zonka and Malone are the running backs. Warfield to the left. Matt Moore to the right. Raiders have their four-man front with Bubba in the ball game. Breezy back. He's going to throw if he can. He rolls out to the left away from the pressure. As time goes up and completes the board. The 45 of the Raiders brought down by Wilson along with Philip Piano. Oh, he put that ball in there right in the slot. So quickly, the Dolphins, with still over four minutes left in the game, are getting into striking position. They're already in a situation now where they can nibble away to get to the field goal range, but always keep an eye on the possibility of the touchdown. And, of course, they know, too, that a touchdown in conversion would put it out of range of the Raiders, except by a touchdown for Oakland. Twilius to the right this time in the game. Hand off to Zaka. Boom, through two men, and is caught at the 40-yard line, but his momentum, even though his feet were held by Villapiano at the 40, carries him to about the 38. John Madden pacing nervously on the sideline as the Raiders have been on a roller coaster of emotion today. Zonka has 97 yards on 23 very persistent carries of the football. 
The ball is on the 38 and a half of Oakland. And again, the Dolphins making big first down yardage. Second down and four. Warfield to the left against Wilson. Twilly to the right against Skip Thomas. Breezy under center. Gives the ball up. Zonka, Zonka drives to 35, going to the 30, running over people, knocked down at the 23-yard line. Paul Warfield was out in front watching for him. And now the Dolphins are in field goal range, but they're not even worried about that right now. They know they can get a touchdown if they can find the right combination here and always keep the field goal in the hip pocket as insurance. 2.35 to go. Oakland needs a big defensive play here, Bill. They need some kind of a hit that might force a fumble because it looks like the Dolphins are just too strong running on the ground. The Dolphins haven't turned the ball over today. Warfield to the left, Twilly to the right. Reezy used the pass judiciously to start this drive. He gets to Malone, sends him to the right. He's turning the corner behind Little at the 20, down to the 15. He rams one man out of the way at the 10. He goes all the way. Touchdown, Dolphins! Malone with a startling run of 23 yards, and Miami is back in front, 25-21. He just pulled, ran, smashed Tip Thomas out of the play as he went to tackle him. Larry Little was in front to clear the way from other would-be tacklers. It was Thomas who appeared to have him stop, and he just banged him off. Ducked under another tackler and went into the end zone to spike the football. Here's your premium with a conversion. 2.08 to go right now as your premium waits. Morrow will hold. Snap, spot, kick is up. It is good. And so the Dolphins are back in front. And it took them two minutes and 29 seconds to do it. I have only one adjective to describe that sequence. Awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now with two minutes and eight seconds remaining to play. The Raiders are behind the eight ball. It's they who must operate with their two-minute offense. As John Madden ponders this from the Oakland sideline. Stabler has thrown three touchdown passes today. One to Boletnikov, one to Smith, one to Branch. And still the Raiders are trailing here, 26-21. The Dolphins went 68 yards in four plays. Here's your premium with a kickoff. He gets into it as Ron Smith takes it on the open 12. Up to the 20, 25, left sideline, and at the 32 is driven out of bounds by a Miami tackler, Ed Newman, along with Jarris White. And now the Raiders are 68 yards from the promised land and two minutes and one second remaining to do it. And the possibility of a tie, as far as the numbers are concerned right now, is quite remote. It's all or nothing at all. Miami has Stucky at that right corner where he's been for Curtis Johnson the whole second half. Foley the left corner. Babb and Anderson the safety. Stabler on first down. Here comes the blitz by ball, but it's picked up. He throws complete to Moore. Ooh, is he dead. Dick Anderson hit him a shot. Moore gets right up at the 38-yard line. He was really blasted. The two-minute warning has gone to both benches. Time out on the field, 156 left to go. Scoreboard showing Miami 26, Oakland 21. Now resuming the action, the Raiders have a second down and four. The ball on Oakland's 38-yard line. They're now 62 yards from the promised land, 156 to go. They trail 26-21. Here's Bonacati, he's faking a blitz, and when he comes in, he's, uh, Davis is stopped at the line of scrimmage. Look at the standstill. Bonacati tried to come that time, was picked up, but those two front foremen made the stop on Davis, and the Raiders are now faced with third and three, and they're lining up without a huddle here with time and a premium, and it's a critical play. Slot right. Sabler going back to pass. He's looking. He throws. Let the top open at the 50, makes the catch. Down to the 43, and he's blocked. The Dolphins dropping off in a prevent style of defense. Boletnikov found the opening. Bonacani, one of the tacklers, along with Dick Anderson. And for Boletnikov, that's reception number seven of the day. Time has been called. The Raiders have used one of their three timeouts. Two left. They're now 43 yards from the promised land.
Frank Pitts is coming on to the field now. And he'll replace Davis. So, Scotty, we're getting a little of a tactical ploy by the Raiders here. Pitts a wide receiver, a vast experience, good speed, particularly on fairly straight patterns, uh, replacing Davis. So this will give the Dolphins a little more to think about in the area of coverage. Raiders have been getting excellent pass protection for Kenny, and of course uh, they can go with just one back there to pass protect the fullback and go with that third receiver. You've got to put some heat on that on that secondary. You've got to find a spot in that zone. Now, Kenny's great strength, I think, as a quarterback is his ability to look at that zone and see where that open spot's going to be, and he knows the patterns, of course, of who might be in there. And Pitts is a big, big guy, and you like to call a receiver in that zone. The Dolphins defense is the orange. They have Larry Ball in with the front three of Ben Herter, Fernandez, and Santa. Branch to the left, Belinda to the right, the corner's way off the line of scrimmage, 12, 14 yards in the secondary, Saber back. He looks, steps up in the pocket, throws the thread, makes a great catch at the 25, corner pattern. He's knocked down by Bath at the 23, the clock running, 111 to go. 43 yards from the promised land, Miami 26, Oakland 21. Branch to the left, Belinda to the right, lining up without a huddle. Saber not hurrying at all. He has out of the left, branches to the right in the slot inside Fred, and a quick throw out of Branch, makes the catch, gets out of bounds at the 20, that was the first down play, they made four to the 19 and a half, stops the clock at 52 seconds, Stabler operating now, expertly, and comes back to the huddle, Kenny not coming to the sideline during this, of course it isn't a full timeout, the clock is stopped, so... He's not even looking to the sideline. Here's Hubbard in for Banizak. Stabler's 18 for 28, 279 yards. The last six games in which he's played the full game, he's passed for more than 200 yards. <laughs> Dolphins still in the orange. Raiders 19 and a half yards from the promised land. Pitch to the left. Branch and Blednikov to the right. Back to pass. Stabler goes to pitch. He makes the juggling catch at the 14. It's a first down or close. Let's see what they rule. The clock is moving at 41 seconds. The officials eyeballing. And now they stop the clock because the Raiders have called the timeout. They don't have the first down. They're about a foot short, I think. And that'll make it third and one. Or third and a half. Or third and a foot. However you want to term it. Pitts made a great recovery. The ball hit him in the hands. Popped up in the air. And he got it back before he was smashed. This football game has been all anyone conceived it could be between two great evenly matched teams whoever loses here today can feel very very badly indeed because whoever loses today could just as easily be going all the way bill this game has been one of of uh, sway and flow although on the whole you would have to think that the dolphins with that great ground game have dominated but there was that third quarter when the raiders went into the league when they moved down the field with Boletnikov making those super catches and kenny just picking that zone apart. And then it was the Dolphins coming back with that tremendous four-play drive, using up two minutes after the Raiders had gone ahead on Branch's great catch and run. It's just been that kind of a football game. In truth, it's been what everybody said it would be, the mini Super Bowl. And if it gets any better than this, I don't know what it'll be. 54,020 are here, and I don't think anybody's left today. The ball on the 13 and a half yard line. It is third and about a foot. Now, uh, Frank Pitts has come out. Stabler asks for quiet. He's got to get the first down. That's the primary importance. Hubbard is in. They give to Davis. Davis drives to the eight-yard line, heading off the left side. And the Raiders extend their last time out. They are on the eight-yard line. It's first and goal to go. And now, 35 seconds are left. Horace Davis starting off the ball and following a fire out of blocking from the left side of the interior line. Davis and Arad. Uh, Davis and Hubbard are still in the backfield. Stabler is talking to Madden at the sideline now. These are pivotal words and opinions being exchanged here. The crowd keeping itself for it hopes and explosion. But the Miami Dolphins, great pride, looking to be the first team ever to play in four straight Super Bowls and win three straight. They are a team that has been through it all, and they know that they could come up with one big play. Boy, and the black socks and black hankies are out now, Bill. This crowd, like you said, not one soul has left, and they are letting those Raiders know just how they feel. This is really, I don't believe I've seen one as tense and as tight, and to use your word, as tingly in this park in its nine-year history. 
35 seconds left. First and goal for Oakland. They trail 26-21. The promised land is eight yards away. Branch to the left against Ducky. Boletnik drops to the right against Foley. That's a pass to Stabler. Look it, look it, look it. He runs. He's at the 15. He throws. It is. They cut down Raiders. Cut down Raiders. I can't even see the receiver. Clarence Davis. It looks like Clarence Davis. He's being mobbed. Stabler was hit as he threw. He was falling down. Stabler threw the ball in a loop. I still can't tell. Is it Davis? I thought it was. It is a touchdown. Everybody in the booth. Yes, here it is. Davis got it. Everybody in the booth. The lead with me was Davis. But he went down in a heap of tacklers and then was mobbed by fans. The Raiders had taken the lead 27-26 when Stabler had to loop the ball up because he was hit as he threw. It looked like he might have been lobbing it into the promised land for Miami. But no, Mike Colin couldn't get there. Davis got there first. And it was the Raiders' promised land. Find the kick. The conversion is good. But now there are 26 seconds left. And you and I know what 26, 26 seconds means in a National Football League playoff game. Scotty, there was an instant when that ball was in mid-flight, and I thought Stabler wishes he had that one back. Bill, I'll tell you why I, I wish he, he was going to think he had it back. Because Fred Boletnikoff had run a beautiful pattern into the right corner of the end zone. And for a good two seconds, he was open. Kenny did not see him. Fred was there waving his arms, and I thought, my goodness, he doesn't see him. He went to Davis, an incredible catch. Now the Dolphins ready for the kickoff here. Jacovenko will probably try to bounce it. The Dolphins break up their wedge, so they have only two men in the normal wedge position and two up in the middle of the field where they might be able to pick it up. They're also looking for the possibility of the onside kick. They bring four men up. Across the 50 out of the four, nearly to the 45 yard line of the Raiders. Jakovenko ready to move from our right to our left. 26 seconds left to play. Here's the kick. He lines one hard. It bounds at the 15. It hits uh, more at the 10. He puts it up to the 20. 25 cruising to the 30. He goes down at the 32. 21 seconds left. And the clock is shot. And Gracie and the attacking unit come onto the field. And the great dynasty of the Miami Dolphins hangs by the slim thread of 21 seconds. The fans take up the defense chant. The fans have taken down this huge replica of a bone fish and are wandering around the stands waving it. Now the Raider defense. What will it be here? The orange defense, Marty Johnson. And three rushers. The Dolphins have Matt Moore and Warfield. Warfield to the left, Matt Moore to the right. <laughs> now Malone in the backfield. Greasy asks for a new football, or Jim Langer does. Malone and Zonka the running backs. With a three-man rush, the Raiders are going to have to be very conscious of Bob Greasy and his ability to run with the football. Now they're ready. They have the right ball. They are 67 yards away from... A touchdown. They need three to win it, though. That's important, but there's only 21 seconds. Greasy retreats to the left. He goes way up the middle. Intercepted to the piano at the 50. Time running down. 13 seconds to play. Oakland football. And I think Oakland victory. It's 13 seconds away from conservation. The crowd going wild here at the Coliseum. Madden in his delirium of joy. Goes about 20 yards out onto the field to welcome the defenders and Villa Piano. Villa Piano gets mad in the football. He displays it for all to see. The ball on the 50-yard line. It's open football. Time is out. All we'll do is fall on it. Everyone here on his feet. Everyone here waving some sort of black fabric. It may be a cap, it may be a sock, it may be a jacket, it might be a jock. Well, Bill, I know.
know, a Catholic priest who's in Section 210. He's a great big heavy guy, Father Riley from St. Monica's in Morocco, and he's got a big black cassock that he brought here. <laughs> now, he's a corpulent guy, and I'm telling you, he's using up a lot of this air with that black cassock. 13 seconds left to go. I don't know who my guest will be in the locker room. It'll be pandemonium. We'll be with you next week from all appearances. On KNBR only, we'll be bidding goodbye to our network folks today. Hubbard rumbles down to the 45. The clock is moving. Seven seconds. The Dolphins stop it with a timeout. And like two professionals, they will take every opportunity to get whatever opportunity might exist to keep the final decision from being registered. Our KNBR flagship station, all of the network stations, all of our sponsors, all of our crew here in the booth, Wish you and yours the various of Christmases. And next Sunday, a week from tomorrow, when the Raiders meet Pittsburgh or Buffalo here, we'll be with you at 12.40 Pacific Standard Time on KMBR only. Now Stabler, seven seconds left. Gives the ball to Hubbard. And Hubbard crunches with it for a couple, three seconds. And the clock is stopped by the Dolphins. They have... Uh, Here's another timeout. Three seconds to go. The crowd can't count the clock down. Some of the fans start on the field, but in an incredible display of orderliness, when motioned back by the officials, they went right back off. Well, maybe they learned a lesson around here, Bill, because in a lot of parks, you know, this game would not be able to continue at this point. I think about Pittsburgh and that incredible game two years ago when there were 5,000 people on the field at this point. Now the Raiders, three seconds left. Oakland 28, Miami 26. Stabler can fall on it here if he wants. He gives it to Hubbard. Runs to the left. Time is out. It's over. Hubbard still on his feet. Nice by Colin. The ball game is over. The Miami Dolphins are defunded. And the Oakland Raiders hold the championship down to the ASU. John Madden with that precious football in his big, meaty right hand. All 260 or 70 pounds of him hoisted atop the shoulders of his players. The crowd milling around. And the final score shows Oakland 28, Miami 26.